bear with me. I don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest. I cut my finger in work. <laughs> Shout out to whoever makes these blue plasters, because these are saving my life this week. Anyway, welcome back to my channel, and today I want to talk about the law of attraction and how it works and why you should start doing it. Because I feel like everybody should actually really do it. The law of attraction is about like your thought process and how you can attract what you want to have in your life by your thought process and by the thoughts that you put out into the universe. Because whatever you put out into the universe, it goes around and radiates like right back to you. So like if you ever felt like, like do you know those days for example that when you get up and like you'd, st you'd stub your toe on the side of the bed and you're just like oh it's going to be one of them days. And then it kind of like snowballed into everything else. Like you'd be having your morning tea or coffee and like it spills or something. And then like you're doing your hair and it's just not happening for you. And then it just starts to carry on and carry on. Well, the law of attraction in that situation would be to, like, just kind of, like, brush things off and kind of, like, not let them snowball. Because whatever you tune your brain into and your thoughts, and if you let it affect you, you go, like, down and down and down. And, like, more negative stuff starts to flow in. But, for example, in that situation where you got up and you stubbed your toe in the bed, instead of being like, oh, it's going to be one of them days, you could just be like, laugh it off or just be like, I'm not letting it be one of them days, kind of. So, like, you're bringing yourself up a little bit. And then, like, if you had your morning coffee and just say it did spill a little bit, just laugh it off and be like, oh my god, like, happens to everybody, whatever. And then like you're slowly bringing yourself back up and up and all these better things will start happening. Like, it sounds so cheesy. But I've only actually started to witness this starting to work for me. Like lately, like in the last few, I won't even say months, like probably the last few weeks. I just find it really interesting. Because I say for the guts of the past year, I've been in like a really bad place. Just like mentally and stuff. And like I'm just not happy I was always feeling. And like I was always like really anxious. And like just down and depressed and stuff. And it just wasn't fun. And I like I ended up having to quit my job last year and everything. Just because it got too much for me. And it wasn't an easy decision. Because like everyone needs a job and money and stuff. But like I just kind of had to make that decision for myself. And I was like. I want my mental sanity over a job and then I end up like going insane or something. But anyway, and since then I just felt like I was up here, like had a job, was on the car insurance, had an income and like everything. And then like I started going through hard times and I lost that and I just felt like everything just started going downhill like slowly and slowly and um the few, like the last few months of 2017 it got really bad so then January um like I went to the doctor tried to get help tried medication that didn't work took myself off it just for my own personal um I was going to say personal opinion, but that's not the way to say it. My own personal choice, or whatever the word is. And that's when I try to do things a more healthier way. Um, but, um, so I started watching loads of, like, documentaries. Like, there's one documentary that I love watching that gets me in, like, a healthy mindset. It's called Fat, Sick and Nearly Dead. There's actually two movies or documentaries on it Fat Sick Nearly Dead Fat Sick Nearly Dead 2 I'm pretty sure it's called I don't know I'll link them down below if I can find links to them and the third one is The Secret because I always I always heard of the book The Secret 
but um, I could never find it anywhere. And also, I'm not a big reader, but um, I think it was in like January or February of this year. I I watched the documentary The Secret, and it was just kind of like I don't know, something just kind of clicked, and I was like. I've always heard about it. You hear like celebrities talking about it and like telling their like little stories about it. And I was like, maybe I should just try this. As cheesy as it is, and even if it doesn't work, like yeah, wor like worst case scenario, it doesn't work. I'll find out, I'll find another way to do it then. <laughs> so, I tried to just be like being more positive. Like, Fat, Sick and Lee Dead helped me get on the bandwagon of like trying to like work out again eat healthy, only put into my body what will actually benefit my body with like nutrients and like iron and like all those fun stuff and um, yeah, completely lost my train of thought there, what was I talking about? <laughs> but, um, yeah, I know I'm probably explaining this like the worst possible way ever and I really should have wrote notes like I literally had a copy and a pen with me and I was like Leanne yeah, you should really write notes because you lose your train of thought a lot but I don't know I just wanted to wing it I'll work my magic when I'm editing it <laughs> but yeah um, back in like February or whatever I watched The Secret and I was like oh my god like maybe this is what I should be doing with my life. So, I was like, this is where it starts. I'm gonna eat healthy, I'm gonna work out, try and work out every day, or maybe like three times, three to four times a week, whatever I can do really. Don't pressure yourself. <laughs> um, whenever I'm having a bad day, to try my best to get myself out of it, instead of just Kind of sitting in your bad day and like basking in it and then just letting that energy like grow and grow and manifest into just a big pile of shit <laughs> so i was kind of being proactive or whatever that word is to just like whenever i'd find myself thinking a certain way i'd try and like notice it and be like no leanne that's just gonna send you down this path again or that path again and you know what that ends up that ends you that that path ends up with you being depressed in bed for like two days and not wanting to even have any human interaction not wanting to do anything have no motivation like no and I was just like sick of this so I was just like whatever it's like I know it's so hard to be positive like in general it's just hard to be positive because this world is so messed up but it is beneficial and it does work. I don't know where I'm going with this. But like, it does. And since, since like February, I think it was February when I started this whole turning over a new leaf thing. The Anne 2 by now. <laughs> I think it was February. Yeah. It was February. Like, I remember in the first week, I actually did the juice fast thing that he does in Fat Sick and Lily Dead. Like, he only juices vegetables. Did I was saying, I feel, felt like I said that weird. He goes on a juice fast for 60 days. And, like, to lose weight, get, he gets off his medication by the end of it. Like, which is amazing, because he was on it for, like, years. And... So I came off my medication was like, I'm going to do this juice fast to like throw me into the deep end and like start this new life that I want. And I was like, let's do it. Let's just jump in the deep end. Go. <laughs> so I talked my mom and dad into doing the juice thing with me before. Like we did it like two years, three, two or three years ago. Like we did it a few times, but it never really stuck. And I never really actually like wanted it. But this time like I wanted it. Like, I wanted it. So, we, we did it for a week. 
I did it for 10 days and in the first week I lost like eight pounds and I was like this is actually like why was this always so hard like and then I kept going at it and I continued to lose like two to four pounds a week which is really cool and I've kept it off since so good job Leanne but anyway um, and like on days when you just get up and you just be like oh I just can't be positive today like you just feel like you just can't do it it's not in you whenever I was having hard days like that I would make it make it make uh, 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 uh. what am I trying to say I would I was about to say I would make it my effort oh make the effort that's how you say it I would make the effort to try and think positively and within that day I would watch Fat Sick and Nearly Dead to get my self back oh, there's a hair floating around in front of me <laughs> what was I saying yeah on those days I would make the effort to like think more positively or try and like tune myself into it like even if I was having the shittiest day ever and I was down here I would on purpose just be like everything's fine everything's okay everything's gonna be amazing I can do it blah 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 like even just fake it until you make it just like fake it be so fake happy because after a while the universe is just gonna get sick and be like oh we're trying to kick her down like she's not going down she's even just faking it for the past few hours so like oh feck it just let her be happy and then it, you'll just be brought back up again and it'll give you what you want it's when you let it like whatever the universe is trying to give you if you let it win and don't fight it to be better like you're just gonna get that does that make sense i, I don't that, i think that was a really bad way of explaining it but um yeah like i still have bad days who doesn't like seriously but like um i really feel it working lately because I'm also training myself. I think I said it in another video that um, like when you train your thoughts to be more positive, you kind of re realize like whoever's around you, like in your circle, like you know that saying. Oh, I have another cut on my finger. I have another cut. I just noticed it. Oh my god! Like seriously. Ah. Uh, Anyway, what was I talking about? <laughs> um, oh yeah, like I've only realised it kind of working, I suppose you could say. No, I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about your circle, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, like, you are the company you keep. And also, actually, on a side note, like, you are whatever you eat. <laughs> yeah. Like, whatever you put into your body to fuel you like that is how you're gonna feel if you get me like just say for example this morning i woke up i let myself have a lie in because i was off work slept in later than i should have then i felt like shit because i slept for so long and i was like oh my god i'm so not productive and then i was just like i'm literally not arsed for anything today i'm just gonna sit in in my pajamas watching youtube videos yeah but i was just like no i kind of sat back and i was just like no that is not going to do anything for the mood that you're in right now i was like get up go to the bathroom come back into your room put your tracksuit on your tracksuit bottoms go down i literally just wanted to go downstairs and just make something that was nice but like all the nice food is fattening full of sugar and bad for you I know it's annoying whatever so I went down and I was like oh I know I should have an omelette with like loads of vegetables in it but I really don't want that right now I'm literally just craving like boiled eggs and toast boiled eggs and dippy eggs like soldiers lovely <laughs> but I was just like as much as I just want dippy eggs right now I'm literally just going to force myself to make an omelette because I know after I eat it I'll feel better and it will do good for my body because I was feeling like, ugh. 
so I was like I need broccoli in my system because broccoli has so much vitamin C broccoli actually has more vitamin C than carrots and oranges fun fact because everyone's always like oh yeah you get vitamin C in your oranges actually broccoli has more bitch <laughs> and has like iron loads of multivitamins all the goodness that your body needs to like do its thing and do it right and then I went on a walk because I was just like fresh air be with nature be with Kelsey and I did and I actually enjoyed it I walked down to the river in my town and I literally just stood there for like half an hour and just listened to the water took my earphones out paused my Post Malone album even though he is jamming <laughs> was just like listening to the water letting the world go by but like taking it all in at the same time and like it just makes your heart happy and it makes your soul kind of reset and like what's that saying like it like it makes you realize what actually matters in the world like the fact that you spilled your coffee two hours ago doesn't matter the fact that you stubbed your toe this morning when you got out of bed doesn't matter the fact that you woke up and you weren't feeling that good that's okay it doesn't matter because you control how you feel right now you can control what happens to you but you can control how you react to it and how you think about it yeah that makes sense which like i just think it's so interesting like i literally think i'm just gonna go downstairs now and watch a documentary on i don't know something I don't, I don't want to watch The Secret again because I watched it a few weeks ago so I kind of like I remember it but like it's good like I only watch it if I'm really at a loss but um what else do I want to say and when you're also in those moods it's a good thing to like think of what you're grateful for like whenever I'm in a bad mood I force myself to be like Leanne what are three things that you're grateful for right now like even driving to work I do it sometimes I'm like oh I'm just like not looking forward to work today like oh the customers are going to be annoying and blah 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 but I'm like no stop and I sit there and I'm like I'm grateful for my health because I'm healthy I'm able to move I mean I can do everything on my own I don't need anybody I'm grateful for my health I'm grateful for my friends and my family who are always there for me who I can always count on and who keep me sane <laughs> And then I say like I'm grateful for my job that I have now. That I actually have like a proper income again. And I actually have like a purpose and like something to do. And like I've met like loads of nice people in work. Like they're amazing in there. Like they're so nice. So like it just kind of like brings you back down. And you're just like okay. Like I'm thankful for the car I drive. I'm thankful for the money I make so that I can pay for the car. Like loads of things. Like there's like... You should always count your blessings, count the things you're grateful for because it really just paints the bigger picture of like what actually matters and it gets you out of your head of just always feeling like, I don't know, like it just works. But yeah, like the law of attraction is just amazing. Like I still want to learn more about it though because like I feel like I'm only like starting out on it which is really exciting though because like I'm glad I started it yeah in in the past month what month is it now May oh my god it's actually like this year is flying it's crazy but yeah in the last month specifically um I've noticed an actual change or I don't know like it actually working because I was sending out loads of CVs trying to to get a job obviously and nothing was coming back even once I was like perfect for had all the experience for nothing it just come back like oh sorry we already have the position filled now blah 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 and I just be like are you joking like this is just never gonna happen for me anymore like what the hell and then I went on indeed and I found the job what do you call it job application or like the like staff wanted whatever of the job I'm in now and I was like I don't really have the experience for that because it said 
like required the requirements was like you needed one year experience like in that place and I was just like I don't have that experience but I was like do you know what I'm just going to chance my arm put it out there put it out into the universe and then see what the universe can do to help me out literally like two or three days later or I can't actually remember how many time had passed but let's just say three days um hi guys my camera just got full my memory so sorry if the frame looks different I don't know what it was before <laughs> but where did I leave off on that video I think I was talking about why no what was I talking about what was I explaining about how I applied for that job I think so so yeah I didn't have any experience I was kind of like whatever I'm just gonna chance my arm because the hours are good it was full time and I was kind of like oh my god I'd be able to go back on the car insurance again and like just all these good things and it got me happy inside and I was kind of like I want this and I was kind of like hey you hey universe I'm gonna put out the effort and actually put my CV in even though I don't have the, the opportunity so can you like take care of the rest tone please and thank you and then it was like a few days later um did they call me I think they called me I can't actually remember but anyway I was invited in for an interview and it was like the most easy going interview I've ever had it was two of the managers there and they literally just like chatted away to me like we were just having like a cup of tea together like it was mad and then they kept on saying like oh we don't do interviews like the like the stereotypical way like we're li you're literally just in here for a chat and it's that so like don't be nervous and I was kind of like oh my god grand and um yeah I think I had the interview on like a Thursday yeah I did and then they said they'd call me on Monday and he called me on Monday and he was kind of like are you still free are you still available for full-time work and I was like yeah and he's like oh good because we really want you for the job like like we, we want you to start right away like when would you be able to start and I was like what and then he's like, yeah, like, would, would Wednesday suit you? Like, we want you to start Wednesday. And I was kind of like, okay. <laughs> and since then I've been working and it's mad. Like, I have my income again, which is amazing. So I'm able to, like, pay back my loans and stuff quicker, which is amazing. Bonus number one. Um, I'm able to pay the car insurance again. So I have my little car back, which I've missed so much. I've been striving so much and it's just amazing like yeah you have your freedom back your independence like all good things so like I'm just gonna keep it going and like all these good things keep on happening so I'm just gonna let them happen so yeah if you find yourself thinking negatively definitely change it try and like put the effort in to make your circle around you full of positive motivating people too because then that's how you'll be and that's how you'll think if you find yourself thinking negatively just flick the switch back to positive just try just even fake it until you make it because it will help and it will work for you eventually you just have to put in the effort like everything else basically which is annoying i know but like the outcome is good so don't worry <laughs> I think that's all I have for you. I know this video was kind of all over the place because I, as I said, didn't bring any notes. But anyway, I think I did okay for just like a rambly, chatty advice video. <laughs> no, it's not even advice. It's just like, well, I suppose it is advice actually, yeah. So yeah, I probably will be coming back to do more of these because it is really interesting. I'm going to watch all the documentaries. I'm going to do my homework, write down all the notes next time. And I'll probably come back to these in the future with better, better put together videos about the law of attraction and manifesting what you want. Because it's just really interesting. So maybe I should make it a series. Hmm. Coffee talks with Jan. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's all for today. I want to go downstairs. I want to get cozy. So that's what I'm going to do. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did or not. I like all the tips I can get. Give a like if you want to. If you don't, that's okay. And I'll see you next time. Bye.